Okay, so we have the rim on, just kind of barely. Now, one thing I want to talk to you about, remember I said, oh, I'm going to put that on the outside and fold that over. <clears throat> well, I did that, and I didn't like the way it looked. So I took it back out, <clears throat> and I stuck it on the inside, and I wanted to show you how I was going to trim these back off. So I'm going to pull it down, and what that does, there's a lot of baskets that I do that too, but I did not like the look of it in this one. So. I'm just going to trim those flush, put that up there, and then you kind of pull this weave up a little bit, and voila, it looks better. It looked kind of, I don't know if it's because of the black, but I didn't like the look. didn't look finished enough. So, we did that. Oh, never mind. Try something different. That's my mind. So, we're going to put the rim filler on here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, Call this the rim sandwich. You want to make sure that that um, is wet, this black, before you start this, and because it it'll it'll bust on you. And you don't want to have have this halfway around, and have it bust. So make sure it's good and wet. So all I'm going to do is just kind of put my sandwich thing together here, all the way around, and I'm just going to show you. Um, I do like every third steak. And these are going to go away. And when I did do these, um, I thinned this on the overlap for about two, two and a half inches. Uh, just so you know that I did that. And you put the rim on the inside and the outside. So one, two, three. And what, like I said, one of the reasons why I use half inch instead of a five eighths rim filler is because I want that little bit of room. So that this kind of tucks down in here and doesn't pop up on top so much. Okay? So I'm going to go around all the way to that handle and do this and a little extra. And I'm going to show you how I put a kind of a plug in, the, uh, in between the handle. It's one of those things that looks continuous but isn't. That's a little bit too big. I'm going to trim that down. And then I'll take one of these guys and stick it in there. So then, my next thing to do once I've got this all done is lash. And I'll show you how I get that started once I get this all done. So this is kind of my sandwich. So I'm going to hold that tight all the way around. And as I lash, when these are in my way, they go away. 